Hello dear viewers, let's do some serious engineering. In this video I'm going to show you how to design a generator. Yeah, So this is something which is not simple, but after you see the video you will understand. You will probably have to train a little bit with these formulas and uh, everything to get the real numbers, but you will see how I designed a generator. You can even make this profitable for you if you can sell this. I just want to make a video that you know how, how to do it. So what will be our starting point? Our starting point will be that we want 24 volts, let's say for example 24 volts at wind speed of 5 meters per second. So what do we need, how, how much windings and coils do we need to get 24 volts at wind speed of 5 meters per second. So, so where do we start? Let's start from the magnets. This is our the the, own, the most important part of the of the generator are of course magnets. I use in my case neodymium N52 magnets with the magnetic force of um, uh, with surface surface fill for 4174 gauss. So this is the starting point, yeah. And um, this is where we will begin. Yeah? So after that we need s a just a few more yeah, data and some calculations to be able to calculate complete generator, but you will see. Yeah? So you know this, this, uh, this point, uh, this data over here, so 4174 Gauss is the surface field at the surface of the magnet, force at the surface of the magnet. But in reality you will see that your coils will not be on the magnet, they will be uh, at some distance from magnet. Eh? And in my case, in my case, uh, I my coils are approximately 8 millimeters distant from the magnets. Yeah? So they are in the mold, the coils are in the mold, and the magnets are at the rotor which is approximately 8 millimeters from the from the surface yeah from the surface of the magnet and this is the calculator for the manufacturer so you put here the data of the magnet and the distance of the magnet and you will see then that you don't have this 4100 gauss when you move yourself 8 millimeters from the surface of magnet you have 2434 gauss yeah this is not the same yeah this is almost twice as twice more little yeah so let's see so we now we we know that at 8 millimeters distance from the magnet we have the 2434 gauss of magnetic force yeah and what then we then need some formulas of course and mr faraday is someone who showed us how do we uh, how it's generated voltage so uh, dependent dependent on the distance of the magnet from the coil yeah you will see so so mr faraday says that the voltage generated it's equal to the number of coils multiplied by change delta is change change of magnetic flux at the distance of the magnet this is the 8 millimeters b multiplied by surface of the magnet so this is the how much is the this upper surface of the magnet you calculate it very simply yeah this is the, the dimensions and you calculate the surface area which is the the data over here so surface area of the side of a magnet yeah so magnetic uh, magnetic flux at some distance multiplied by the surface of the magnet divided by the time this uh, magnet fly over over the one coil uh, over the one winding sorry yeah? so ma uh, divided by the time in which uh, a magnet passes over one coil and you will see here in the image yeah? so this is our one magnet the the uh, wideness of the coil is 69 millimeters and this is the the magnet yeah and we need uh, the time in which uh, this magnet passes over this coil yeah so this will be this is uh, this is the delta t in the equation yeah 
and yeah of course uh, we have the generated voltage generated will be the data which we know we want 24 volts and we have the magnetic flux B uh, magnetic force at the distance of man we have the surface of the man we have the delta T which we which I'll show you how to calculate and then we will we will be able to calculate how many n its windings how many windings do we need for one coil yeah? so this is very simple once you have the the delta T or the time in which in which magnet flyovers over the one coil over here yeah? So let's go up. Yeah. So I can stay a little bit here. So what means uh, the Faraday's law? It means that you see when one coil, the the magnet fly over over the coil. Yeah, according to this equation, uh, the voltage is generated in the coil. So when the magnet passes through this coil or above this coil, or however designed, it generated it generates some voltage in this coil and this is dependent on the distance from the magnet and the magnet strength so let's see now let's go back so we said that this is the basic data so n52 magnet so this is dimensions of the magnet yeah this is the sur uh, the magnetic uh, force at the surface of the magnet this is magnetic force at 8 millimeters from a magnet yeah uh, we need to transfer that to Tesla so so the formula is for Tesla Faraday in Faraday's formula is with Tesla calculations and we see that the magnetic force at the f uh, surface is 0 0.4 41 yeah Tesla and at 8 millimeters sorry 8 mi 8 millimeters 8 millimeters from magnets is 0 0.24 Tesla the surface area so this upper part over upper part over here which will fly over over our coil yeah it's 0. Point blah 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 0. 0.00125 meter square yeah this is the data we want so our basic data we want 24 volts at 5 meters per second and now we have to calculate how how, how long how how much time do we need that uh, magnet one magnet one magnet fly over over the one coil or one winding yeah and this is over here so so let's see so uh, we have naturally the wind speed of five meters per second per second which you can see this is our wind speed and this is uh, this is the uh, the speed which is over here at our blades so this is five meters per second is at this point uh, th the wind is pushing the the blades with this speed yeah and you can see that our magnets are over here yeah so they are not in the center so they are somewhere over here and the speed over here it's of course lower this is the according to the formulas from the physics yeah so at this at at this distance from center it's this speed yeah because we have the same time in which the which we have a circle but the speed is not the same yeah because of the extent extent over here it's three times bigger than the extent over here yeah so extent of the circle so this means that when the velocity of wind is five meters per second and the extent at uh, this point over here where are the wings is 2.36 meters we need now to see how much is the velocity of magnets so, so this is the velocity of the of the magnets how, how, how fast they're spinning at their point at the circle yeah and this is of course 1.63 meters per second uh, at this point we have another extent so at the magnets it's not 2.3 36 meter it's 0 0.76 meters the data over here and we need now wideness of the winding so this is this data over here 69 millimeters is the windi wide wideness of of the winding yeah and this is over here so z 0 point this is 69 millimeters yeah 7 centimeters approximately and then it's simple so we have the we have the velocity 
of the magnet and we have the the wideness and we can calculate in which time uh, with this this velocity we will fly over this distance so this is in 0 0.04 seconds or 4 milliseconds we need only 4 so we need 4 milliseconds that this magnet over here in green fly over this 69 millimeters in 0 0.04 seconds yeah? so with the wind speed of 5 meters per second we need only 0 0.04 seconds that these magnets fly over this winding yeah and uh, well, where are where ha where have we stopped yeah okay we have now this data so we have the delta t from the faraday's law formula and now we have to calculate how much winding do we need yeah how much winding for one coil yeah so you will see it's it's a really interesting uh, data so if you turn uh, around this formula because we need number of windings we know the voltage we want we find we found out the delta t the time in which uh, the magnet fly over the the coil we have the magnetic flux yeah? magnetic force at the distance of a magnet 8 millimeters from magnet b and we have the surface of a magnet and when you calculate when you divide that uh, make, make a calculation you get that you need 3000 339 windings for one coil and one magnet yeah so this is oof, this is strange yeah you would say from the beginning yeah this is very strange of course it is and but this is it you would need uh, in reality you would need 3300 windings for one coil and one magnet and of course this is not possible to to do uh, and uh, to to make this thing possible you need to of course put more magnets yeah and you will divide that number by a number of magnets and uh, you will get that we, we in my design it's 24 magnets yeah and with this formula from Faraday's law you see that we need only 139 windings for each uh, 139 coils for our for each of our windings over here this red one here uh, so we need 139 uh, windings for this coil to be able to produce 24 volts at the wind speed of 5 meters per second now this play uh, table it's not completely automatic because some some points uh, especially here about the physics of the the turbine of the blades and everything so I cannot change uh, I cannot change everything yeah here but if let's say for example if I can uh, I can change desired voltage you know I can put here that we want the 60 volts at wind speed of 5 meters per second and you see now that this is the low speed and you want a bigger voltage you need 347 windings yeah for one coil yeah? this is much more yeah? if you want 12 volt only 12 volt you need 69 or 70 windings for one coil but let's back let's get back to the original our design which is 24 volts and you need uh, approximately 139 40 i put in my video 144 so this is approximately the same it doesn't change a lot especially the windings uh, especially the voltage so so this is basically it so you need to know then a uh, few things only few things but it's a lot about geometry yeah, and the stuff you need to know from mathematics to, to calculate the, the time needed for a magnet over here fly over through the coil yeah so or above the coil depending on the design and this is it so we have a wind speed desired wind speed and with uh, Faraday's law formula we can uh, calculate the necessary number of windings for desired voltage and this is it this is the, this is the mystery of uh, of the generator you can do whatever you wish you can make uh, megawatts here on the paper and it will probably work in reality maybe with some 
not the this is the mathematics yeah but it, it's approximately correct yeah because uh, uh, my pro in my project works so it means that it works yeah and uh, and yeah if you if you have more questions don't please uh, put it in the comments I will try to respond but this is it this is the the mystery of how to design a wind generator so or with uh, desired number of uh, uh, of of uh, voltage yeah? desired number of we if you you can turn this formula around and then you can get other data but this is how it's done yeah? you need uh, data from the magnets yeah? you need uh, the sur the 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 force the magnetic force at the some distance of the magnet how how do you design your generator and you you can easily calculate how many windings do you need for desired voltage so thanks for watching uh, i hope you understand how to design a generator and uh, until next video bye bye